Okay, that light bulb, in fact, both of the garage light bulbs should have protective covers on them. This light bulb in the attic above the garage should have a protective cover on it. Okay, the garage is not living space, so this does not have to be insulated. But it'd be nice if it was ventilated, and it's not. So the attic space above the garage is not ventilated. Also, okay, this structural sheathing here should be fastened. It's not going to have the same shear strength when it's open like that. I get that they poured it with foam. I get that. So we got some foam insulation in there. Yeah, we do. But you don't have the water resistant barrier. You don't have the air barrier. You don't have the draft stop. Draft stop. You do not have the draft stop if you've got a fire. Coming on up. Are pan flashing. It could be it leaves a little to be desired. I mean, it's there. I can't say that it's not there. And then coming up. Right here, that right there, that's called palm bracing. A lot of home inspectors get upset with palm bracing. Palm bracing, palm bracing. There's nothing wrong with it. Code is silent about it. as long as you're transferring the load. That's all code says. Now it's true that as a mass production technique used by mass production builders, but there's nothing, nothing wrong about it, wrong with it. So when you sell this home later and another home inspector says, palm bracing, palm bracing, you're going to say, well, show me where it says that something's wrong with it. And you can say, oh, you saw my inspection report where I told you that you had palm bracing. So talk about, let's talk about something nobody knows about because everybody knows about the palm bracing and that there's not a code against it.